I wanted to get some more clarity about, I love also the idea and so much want to experience that unconditional living that you've been speaking about recently. And wondering, just as you mentioned about not to read the reviews, but they're audible because reviews. Because what you think of me is none of my business. Right, but audible reviews come in all the time, not just in print. So my question is like... How so? Well, for example, there have been changes in my physical apparatus, and so I get a lot of positive feedback from time to time, and I don't want to be dependent upon that to feel good, but I want to allow it in at the same time. Well, we think it's a wonderful thing to appreciate. Just appreciate it. But there's a difference between receiving what's flowing to you and going looking for it. We've been saying to you for a while, you're looking for love in all the wrong places, mm -hmm. because Often you look for love in a place where it isn't and then you misunderstand and you think you're not loved when you're just looking for it in a place where it wasn't. You find some person that's on the Henri disc and you go looking for love, they're not going to give it to you. And then often you misunderstand. You think that where, where if you're looking for it where it always is, you're always going to find it. That's really the point that we're making. And I get that and I know that that's where it comes from is from within. My question is more as to how to, like I hear you talk about source not responding to the behavior but responding from the vibrational, you know, from that, from that. From what though? From what? This is the most important question of the day. Best ever. <laughs> what is source responding from where source coming from the core of source the love the love the appreciation so, the joy the bliss the practiced vibration mm -hmm. of alignment mm -hmm. and joy and love so let's carry this train of thought just a little bit mm -hmm. so your inner being the source within you will not join you in any negative commentary about yourself or about any other Yep. because source has practiced this climate this atmosphere so profoundly that that is who source is mm -hmm. that's what permeates all that is and then humans in varying degrees block it off for one conditional reason after another but oh what a good discussion of unconditional love we're having here mm -hmm. you've been using the words for a while but not really understanding what it means where am I coming from have I taken the time to think myself into alignment with source who has thought themselves into alignment have I taken the time to think myself into that resonance with that or am I just sort of lazy and letting the wheel that is the most squeaky get my attention good way to look at it don't you think yes yes absolutely so someone presents themselves to you in some way now first of all they didn't get there accidentally law of attraction brought them to you because you have an active vibration within you that makes that a logical thing and let's say it's unpleasant some piece of it and you don't think you were asking for it because you don't ask for unpleasant things as a deliberate practice but you do now especially after this discussion you do now accept that if it's there there's a component of you that is matching it in other words in many ways you're just standing there with a person who's sort of mirroring you and you're pushing their button and then they're pushing yours and then you're pushing their button and then they're pushing yours and you're saying to each other stop it stop it stop it stop it <laughs> But if you weren't in on it, then it wouldn't be happening. So this thing that's happening is loving information for you that's letting you know the only important and really simple thing to understand. Oh, I've got something active in my vibration that this is representing. And if I want to keep getting that, then I'll keep that alive in my vibration. And if I don't want to keep getting that then I will deactivate that in my vibration well the thing about law of attraction is can't deactivate anything because as soon as you try to deactivate it you've pushed the button and you've activated it again so the way you deactivate something is by activating something else and so it's just a matter of understanding and blessing oh thank you annoying person and we are not being sarcastic about that thank you annoying person because you have made me aware of an active vibration within me that's not just turning up with you it's turning up with a lot of other people you're just the current evidence of it and since I'm alert and aware I'm not mad at myself I don't need a step four out of the 12 step program moment I don't need to do anything other than acknowledge that it came in response to something that I've got going on and maybe I could soften that a little bit in some way so here's the thing so then what are we encouraging you to do it came you didn't like it you were aware of it so 
Do you think that what we're encouraging you to do is now take that bull by the horns and take no. that person who annoyed you no. and sit there and make a goddamn list of positive aspects about that person? <laughs> Well, there is a little momentum there yeah. <laughs> or is what we're encouraging you to do is take the information, realize that you're edgier than you mean to be and get up in the morning and try to hold yourself in a place of feeling good longer and then just keep watching. In other words, give it another day, give it another week, give it another two weeks, give it another three weeks. Show yourself your incremental softening of your resistance and your therefore incremental allowing of the things that you really mean to let in to come in. That was good. That was the best ever. That answered a question. I had an experience recently where I was clear that I attracted this person into my experience and there was some unwanted, but I was thrilled that I knew that I did that. I knew that it had nothing to do. I mean, there was a little bit of unwanted qualities, but I was like, I did that and I can change that. And so part of what you just spoke to, you answered part of my question because you talk about, well, if what we get is wanted, then adjust nothing. But if there's some that's unwanted, then adjust it. So I hear Softly that in the softening. So can you, yeah, can you just say more someone about the softening? Esther, what do you think in a nutshell if you had to articulate it quickly and easily what would you say is one thing that I could do that would put me steadily on the path of living happily ever after and the impulse came to Esther immediately make an enemy of no one don't find anyone and use that person as your reason to push against make an enemy of no one because all that happens when you find that condition or that person or that situation or that whatever it is to push against is that you practice a vibration that does not allow everything that you've been asking for and everything that you deserve to be current right now in your experience. You won't hold it off forever because well-being is yours to experience. You will eventually have what you call your death experience. We like to call it croaking because there is no death. And you will in one fell swoop release all resistance and you will be the receiver of all that you've been asking for. You will come back into alignment. We just don't think you should have to croak to do it. We think you should be able to practice yourself incrementally into that soft allowance of the well-being. And it's not a soft, flimsy, uneventful life experience. It's a vivid, exciting, momentous life. You have not been dabbling at life. You've put plenty into your vortex. There's plenty lined up for you. We're just saying you got to slow it down a little bit to start noticing that you're letting it in. And once you got this letting in good, then you can start rampaging. Then you can start making lists of things that you want. Then you can take something that you know that you want that hasn't happened yet. And you can begin expressing it in vivid, clear terms and take pleasure from the expressing. And that's the piece that we so want you to hear. If you're affirming to the universe because you're trying to talk the universe into something or you're trying to overcome some obvious resistance that's been keeping you from living something now you're trying too hard it's working against you you want to say the words because it's pleasurable to say them you want to think the thoughts because it's pleasure you're soothing yourself into alignment so you're using these mantras and you're using these affirmations because saying them just feels good because when you say them you find resonance with the source within you Ooh, that's so big. That's such an important thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you affirm to try to make things happen. And this whole conversation all day today has been about softening your point of attraction in order to let in what you've been asking for that is queued up right against whatever barrier you've got. So the art of allowing is softening that, softening that, softening that. And at first, the softening happens with general statements. But once you've got it, once you've been doing it for a while, for a week or two or three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten, once you've got that, now you start living step four. Now you're walking around knowing that well-being is yours, knowing that you are the center of the universe, knowing that you are worthy, knowing that you are loved, knowing that you can be or do or have anything that you choose, and knowing that it is simply your work to define what it is and hold yourself in a frequency that allows it to come and that you get to modify your thinking every step along the way in exactly the way that any masterful, creator molds clay into the sculpture that is exactly the way he wants it to be you are molding the clay through your thoughts through your emotions through your exposure to life through your experience with all of these people who are helping you know how you're doing you don't 
as creators in clay, you don't take a big clump of clay and throw it down on the table the first time and say, oh, I thought it would be better. <laughs> you expect to mold it a little bit. You expect to transform from your vortex idea of what you want to transform it into a reality. And this is the same thing, you see. Really good. Something more? Yeah, actually, with the discussion around food and actually recovery combined, I've been in the food division of the 12-step community for actually 22 and a half years. And for me, the food is different than the other substances of alcohol and drugs and whatever else because we have to continue to engage in it on so a daily basis. So we just basis. want you to think for a little while mm -hmm. because you've said really a lot just now. Mm -hmm. 22 years and it's different. And so we just want you to start by thinking something like this. What conditions have I been manufacturing for myself to make this a hard topic? Because you are the creator of the conditions. You're the creator of the way you are looking at it, you see. That's why we always say, start with easier things. Start with easier things. Because if you start with something easier, you will gain quick confidence in your ability to focus and the realization of results will be really obvious. If you start with something that you've been 22 years in the trying to figure out, then sometimes it's a little harder place to focus. It doesn't feel hard to me. It feels easy. What I wanted some clarity around is the... Well, then, how about this statement? This is a good one for all of you. I could say that better. Okay. So you just said some things to us mm -hmm. and now say to yourself, wait, I can say that better. So say what you just said to us better. Say it better. And by better, you all know what we mean. In a more soothing to yourself way, mm -hmm. in a more expecting of immediate results way, mm -hmm. say it better. We don't want the facts that don't apply. We want the current facts. We want you to take your current reality and say it in a way that causes you to demonstrate to the universe a vibration that's going to yield to you what you want. Mm -hmm. That was clear, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Say it better. Okay. So I'm in a place where I love the food I eat. I love my body. I've recently switched gears in terms of vegan and not because of little animals, just right, because it just feels good. Now you're just jumping it up for no reason. Okay. Now, you're, okay. now you're just making it harder for no reason. Okay. So get into a really general place and say it better. Okay. What I'm seeking is more ease, more freedom around All right, around but make it current in other words you're making it sort of something that's out there mm -hmm. i'm considering turning this into something that is more freedom <laughs> and ease but you're doing it right now so bring it current and say it now say it as best you can now in the easiest way you can say it as best you can right now say my question or the what is this now the creation of your atmosphere because your work 100% of the time is to create an atmosphere that lets in the most right now that will please you the most impulses, the most communication between cells and source. That's what you're doing right now. You're not writing a book about it. You're not having a debate with anybody else about different possibilities. You're not even thinking about what's been going on for 22 years. All you're doing right here and now is creating an atmosphere that's the most conducive for you feeling emotionally the best that you can feel. Mm. So you can say it better. What are some words? Freedom comes to mind. Freedom. Freedom's a really good word mm. with a whole lot of <laughs> attachments to it. So maybe you could find a word that's easier. We love you so much. But when you say freedom, what activates in most of you is the bondage that you are seeking freedom from. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you can say it better. Ease is the other word that comes Yeah, ease up. is a good Ease. Fun. Delicious. Mm. Good feeling. Mm. Energy. Mm. Clarity. Ooh, I have such a good body. My body represents my focal point in this world. Ooh, so nice to have this body. The source energy adoring, focusing through my body. Ooh, some of you are getting it. Can you feel vitality in your cells right now with that statement? Mm. Do you feel that? Do you mm. feel source enjoying your body just now? Seriously, can you feel that? Sort of energy moving, little prickles that you weren't aware of. Source is love in your body. I love how Source loves my body. That's saying it better. I love how Source loves my body. I love the communication that Source has with my cells. I love the understanding that my cells have. I love that my work is just to be easy about it and get out of the way of it and follow my natural impulses. And maybe that's all you have to say.